Ladies and gentlemen, today is the day. We've come a long way, but now it's time for the Elite Four, and they are hard. I am going to say right now, this is five battles in a row of some of the hardest battles in the game. And we have to win all five battles in a row. Otherwise, we have to redo the entire Elite Four. I say five, even though it looks like we only have to fight four trainers, but... This is a lot like Stadium 2, to where you fight the Elite Four and then the Champion. And you can see there are two towers there, not one. So if you lose the Elite Four against the last trainer, you have to redo the Elite Four. You don't get a second chance. So, let's do it. We have Lorelei, Bruno, Agatha, and Lance. And I think this team was... This one. Why the hell do we have a Dragonair and a Scyther? Let, let me check this team real quick. Okay, that's understandable. Okay. Wow. Sorry you has like, no stats. Electrode is understandable. Why? And, oh my god, we have Thunder! Oh my gosh, we're fucked. <laughs> Alright, here we go, it's time for Lorelei first. We don't have Psychic, well I mean we do have Psychic, but... What the fuck? What is this? This whole team except for Jinx is weak to Electro. We're taking Jolteon, Electro, and Gengar. I don't really need to think about this one. So here's the thing with this team that I remember. Slowbro is actually kind of annoying. The Articuno does not have Ice Beam, I think. One of these mods doesn't have Ice Beam when it should. I think it's the Articuno. The Slowbro is just generally annoying. And Lapras is Lapras. Jinx is probably the only problem here because it's not weak to electric. For everything else, we should just be able to blow up no problem. So let's go. The challenger now faces the Elite Four. First opponent is Lorelai. Lapras first, all right? All right, Thunder, go! go this is Stab. We're stupid fast. Savage attack. Okay. How much are we doing? Wow! Body slam. Oh, come on, are you serious? What will the other side do? Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I am not going to double kick. I am going to go for thunder again. I mean, I could double kick, but we have, like, no attack. See? This is why we don't double kick. Because if I land thunder, I kill things. Alright, if she brought Jinx, we have One Pin Missile for it. We don't need to worry about having all of our team members survive. Oh, it's Jinx. The Pokemon you know what, I have a better idea. Let's Toxic this thing first, and then we spam Pin Missile. Because it'll force a switch. Oh, toxic. Never mind, I missed. Oh, Reflect! Are you serious? Now I can't use Pin Missile because I will do no damage. I don't know what this thing wants to do to me either. Come on. I know Toxic only has 80 accuracy in this. Are you kidding me? This move has 80 accuracy. It's not Thunder. What do we miss it again? What's this? The there you go. Third time's the charm. But now we're dead. What'll it do? A decent hit. We're not dead. All right, Jolteon. Everything else on our team is weak to electric outside this jinx, so we're just gonna use thunder. Whoa. Yeah, but of course I'm gonna miss that too. Whoop! Yeah, it's a hit. Oh, it's down. That was incredible. Which we stupid. Gengar, get in here. 
I'm going to save Electrode for whatever comes in because we all already know everything else is just going to die to an Electrode move. So with Gengar, we just confuse away Thunderbolt Spam. Please, Jinx, don't you dare have Psychic. Oh my god, it's even worse. Alright, it's still poison though, so you're on a timer. Even if you put me to sleep, you're still basically screwed. The trainer's changing Pokemon. You fool. Cloyster! Okay, well, Cloyster is not a threat. Cloyster is slow, its special is bad, we have Thunderbolt, we're Gengar. This thing should not survive more than two. Okay, it survived one, which is really stupid, but, you know, doesn't matter. We still win. Plus, we have Electra in the back. So, basically, there is no way in hell we're losing. Unless Jinx has Psychic. Then we're screwed. I, at least I hope Jinx doesn't have Psychic. But if it had Psychic, it would have used it right away. I don't know why it didn't use it first. Rather than go for Lovely Kiss. Whatever, we have Confused right now. What's that? Confused. Reflect! Uh -oh, Why are you confused. wasting your turns on Reflect against something that literally will never use a physical move on you? Well, whatever. The AI's just being dumb again. So that's just Thunderbolt. What's this? Oh. Okay, it's dead. It's gonna die of poison. What will it do? Oh, say, why did you... Never mind, it didn't die of poison. Fire well, good thing we have Thunderbolt. Goodbye. Easy. Alright, that's the first one down. The next three will probably not be as straightforward. I mean, literally, that only took as long as it did because I missed Toxic twice. If I had hit the first Toxic, I would have just started spamming Thunderbolt. And Thunder. But with Bruno, we can't exactly apply that stretch because his team is... Yeah. Half his team is weak to, to Psychic, which we have in Staryu, and half his team is weak to Water, which we have in Staryu. I think you see where this is going. We're using Staryu. <laughs> we could actually use Scyther here because half of his team is also weak to flying. The only thing I'm worried about is the fact that he might either switch in one of his rock types or he has rock slide. But I'm going to take it anyway. As for our third... I think Gengar is still the play here because we can just confuse right anything that comes in. But mostly this should be the Staryu show. Because Staryu basically wins against this whole team. The next adversary is Bruno. He is one rugged opponent. Golem lead. Alright, Staryu, moment of truth. Can you kill a golem? He's switching out immediately! Into what? Oh. Oh, that's fine. What lit we? That's fine. A savage hit! Him only is weak. Holy crap! That did a lot! Okay, I'll go for a second. Match. He's faster than me? Whoa! Ow! A psychic flash! No! This Pokemon looks wrong! Well, that's bad. If the Machamp is also faster than me, we don't have much to deal with the goal. Hit Monchan! It has to make up for lost ground. The Pokemon are in Hit Marley, hit Monchan, Golem. Switch to Gengar. Now. The trainer's changing Pokemon. Because we confuse right everything. Thunder Punch. What's this? That does nothing. 
How will the squad Pokemon right, right, go? Doesn't matter if he switches out, which he's gonna do immediately. Oh, there's going to be a change of Pokemon. Which means he probably has Earthquake. Alright, here's the plan. We confuse Ray Hypnosis Dream Eater spam. And hopefully he doesn't get one turn wake ups. Hopefully. Please, Gengar. Yes! Don't wake up! Stay asleep! Yes! Okay! Gengar! Do the thing! Eat his dreams! Because if we can do this, then the Haunter. I mean, the Hitmonchan is absolutely no threat to us. All right, how much are we doing? Not enough. It woke up. Ah, crap. What a furious battle. Hitmonchan basically can't touch Gengar. Its special set is way too low for it to realistically what do much damage. Uh oh. Bam. Dig? It burrowed underground. Wait. Wait. Nine wait. 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 Hold on. Hold on. I have a stupid but smart idea. Let's switch to Scyther. Oh, it's Scyther! It shook of course he gets a one-turn break, but this isn't going to hit me. That's a miss. What do you have for... Toxic, go. Toxic, go. Explosion?! And he got a crit?! Well, we're dead. Why would you do that? Now you just lose! Oh, we literally down. just switched to Gengar for free Which now, and Hitmonchan literally cannot kill me! Here's a Pokemon. What is going on here? Why is the AI the so stupid? Alright, well, here we go. Here's right. We outspeed, block. because Gengar. Yep. It's it's basically only got the elemental punches. It's other move was probably Comet Punch or something. Something dumb like that. So it basically can't do anything. Please? Oh, he's screwed. He's screwed. It's over. Gengar, it's dinner time. Eat his dreams. Mm. He's dead. <laughs> oh, good work, Gengar. Well, outside of the golem exploding, which I did not see coming, that was pretty tame. Agatha, however, is not tame at all. Because look at this team that is entirely weak to one type. So here's the thing with this team, specifically. You see that Arbok there? It has Fisher. It also has Glare. So what it's going to try to do is paralyze you, and then sit there and spam Fisher to try and instant kill you. Which is kind of scary. So here's the problem. The only thing we have on this on our team that can realistically destroy this entire team single-handedly is Staryu. But Staryu lacks stats. We might want to take Sight there for the Venusaur, and we want something fast to deal with the Gengar. So what I think we should do is lead Scyther, take Staryu, and take Gengar. The ghost types are probably our biggest problem, but we have wing attack. I think the setup works. Yeah. Let's go for it. Also, in Generation 1, Venusaur is weak to bug. Pretty sure it's that poison types are weak to bug in Generation 1. But that got changed. So, you yeah. know. Let's go. Next up. Agatha, another daunting foe. What strategy will work against this wily lady? Shit. Um, this is probably the worst lead. 
I'm gonna wing attack. See how much we do. You're faster than me. Oh boy, here we go. Scyther! Scyther! No! Scyther! Hit him! Oh boy, here we go. I think this is it. If he has Psychic. What? What? Please? Are you kidding me? Will this Pokemon swap change the flow of battle? Can't Hauntra learn explosion moves? They I'm such a hell. fighting poses. Here's a Pokemon change. Oh, it's Gengar! Thunderbolt, what even worse. And he pairs me first shot! How will the swap Pokemon so, fight? This thing literally kills most of my my whole team by itself. Oh, it's even what worse. Now? It has Nightshade on top of that. Yeah, it's a hit. Gengar, if you die, we're screwed. What's that? We need to put this thing to sleep and eat its dreams like right now. We need help. Badly. If it gets two more Nightshades up. The Pokemon returns to its Pokeball. Are you kidding me? Gengar, 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 come on, please. You stupid asshole! You needed to hit him, and now we lose! He is psychic! He, he, and he got crit. Yep. So, here's the problem. Hodger outspeeds my whole team, probably, and one-shots me, because Thunderbolt. So I think we lose to Haunter. Oh my god. Agatha! You Alright, well, moment of truth. Star, you has to kill an entire team single-handedly. And that's not gonna happen, because... Wait, what? Wait, what? What'll it do? Oh, that's why. Because I can't kill you. Realistically. Um, yeah. So I think we lose. The commands are issued. The trainer's changing Pokemon. I would literally need a crit to kill this thing. It's still biding its time. Yeah, we're dead. He's about to kill me with Bide. change the flow of battle? Oh shit! Now I'm dead. What's this? A decent hit. I made a big another mistake because now he's about to kill me for reals. I didn't think it was gonna take another turn. It's done enough fighting. A savage hit. Wait! Wow, we lived. Made himself more evasive. Okay. Yeah, um, we're still screwed. I see no realistic possibility of getting out of this alive. Unless he misses. What now? Of course not. Of course not. I get two confusion turns, and then he can full can pair me turn one and get a crit second. And then not hit miss on one evasion boost, where meanwhile before I missed like three times in a row off of one evasion boost. The battle has become Please one use side. Bide again. Oh, there's going to be a change what, are you, of Pokemon. What, are you, what are you doing? Haunter? Yeah, but of course, you killed me with this thing. Savage attack. Guess back to Rob. No, this Pokemon looks Dude, Star you does no oh, damage! Pokemon fight. Oh my gosh. Yep, there it is. Thunderbolt! One shots, dude. What the hell is this? Stardew sucks. Oh, and he brought Venusaur, so I actually kind of had a chance if I got past the two ghost types. She brought. He, I always default to he. I'm sorry, it's a thing. So, yeah, Agatha's gonna be a real pain in the ass. 
I think we need to go back to the drawing board. Staryu just does not have the strength to deal with these teens. Like, it's just not gonna work with Staryu. Staryu is bad. Like, I don't even do half of a Gengar's HP with a Psychic. Like, it is not Sab, but seriously. It also gets outsped by literally everything on Agatha's team. Except maybe Venusaur. So, I'm gonna go back to the drawing board and I'll be back in a while. Okay, so, when I went back to the drawing board, I decided one important thing. Star, you sucks ass, so screw him, we're using Gadabra! Anyway, we're back to Agatha, through the last- the first two battles were not very challenging. We we're going to leave Gadabra, because- because, yeah, reasons. We're gonna take Gengar, and I'm gonna take Jolteon as my third. Yes, third. Because we can't blow up on two of these mons. And we have something for the gold bat. So hopefully this is just a Kadabra show. Alright, here we go again. This time we have the King of Rentals on our side. So it should end us badly. Oh my god. Well, never mind. Forget what I said before. This might end badly. He outspeeds me?! And he is psychic! That did nothing, though. Alright, go for it. See what this does. Look at that! We do a KO him! We actually do something resembling damage now! Unlike with the star, you. Why are you just using psychic? Oh, well, that's why, because now I can't kill you. Because, of course. Unless I get a crit. Oh, you fucking stitch. The heated battle of course not. Alright, well, we have recover, so this should be fine. What are you doing? This thing has 20 HP! Haunter? Oh, Venus, or even worse. Alright. Get confusion. We're not doing much damage because we're our special status lord. What does this thing want to do to me, though? Toxic? Whatever, I'm switching out. We can confuse Ray and then start doing some shenanigans now. We switches into Gen she switches into Gengar, then oh, we have... Gengar. We can just Thunderbolt. Razor Leaf. What now? Well, that's always a crit, but we resist, so that's going to do, like, nothing. How will the spot right, Pokemon fight? In case it switches out. Pokemon, to okay, so Pokemon. what's your third then? Oh, it's Haunter. Haunter! This is literally the same team as last time! That's a confused friend! It's confused! Alright, here we go. Hypnosis no, Dream Eater time. We outspeed! What a concept! I actually hit a move! What a concept! Never mind! In the perfect world, I can never get more than one turn wake ups and one turn breaks and confusion. Yet, meanwhile, the bot can get special drops, first turn paras, crits, twice in a row! This game is fucking cheap! I hate this game, dude. Oh my god. Oh, and now I mess. Now he's gonna. He has hypnosis too. The watch is gonna land it first shot. <laughs> He's gonna one turn break me. He's gonna one turn break and then land it and then I'm gonna get fucked. Just watch. Okay. Stay asleep. Good. Don't switch out. Don't switch out. Good. Goodbye. He might not die. Of course not. And he woke up now. Okay, this is fine. We can just Thunderbolt now. The Gengar has 20 HP, so literally the only thing that is mildly threatening is the Venusaur. 
and I got 4 HP and I got a para. Please. Yeah! He killed himself! Alright, nice! Now, if sw she switches in Gengar, we just Thunderbolt it. And if she switches in Venusaur, we confuse Ray Hypnosis 3 meter. Up oh, here comes the Gengar with 20 HP. If this thing outspeeds me, it's gonna psychic off the bat. A white what? Please! Gengar! Gengar! No! Uh oh, it's confused! You're supposed to hit it! Not hit yourself! Alright, we're switching out. It's gonna psychic me. We could probably pin wrestle and get away with it. Even if she wants to switch back to Venusaur, Venusaur does not want to take a pin wrestle. Psychic, yep. Gets a crit because, of course. How will this swap affect All right, here we go. If you switch out, you're still screwed. We outspeed. What'll it do? No! Really? Are you kidding me? I thought you were weak to that. And now I'm probably going to die. What now? Get a special that. drop too, because of course you do. Neither one is an inch. <sighs> this game sometimes, dude. Wait, you've got two special drops, and I got, and then two special drops and two turn, one turn wake ups. This game, dude. There's a difference in the number. And get them just with all the hacks. All right, we can sack our Jolteon against this Venusaur. There's nothing left in Cause now Kadabra cleans up. See, all I had to do was get rid of Star You, cause Star You sucks. And then we start winning. What this? Wow, I actually did a lot more than I was expecting. But we're dead, so it doesn't matter. Razor Leaf Flurry. He oh wait, never mind. I forgot. I always wins. And it's down. All right, Cadaver, you know what to do. Clean up. Then it's time for the hard battle. Like, this was just annoying and hacksy as hell. The next battle is actually hard. The remaining Pokemon All right, go for it. Two to one. The combatants are making sparks so the blocks. fortunate thing about Generation 1 is there are borderline zero Dragon-type moves. And the ones that do exist is, well, Dragon Rage, which is a fixed damage. So it doesn't count. But, yeah. Lance is supposed to be a dragon type user, but there are only three dragon types in this game. So, what did they do instead? Well, we're about to find out. Also, screw you, Agatha. So, Lance is supposed to be a dragon type user. So, instead of giving a bunch of dragons, they just give him this podge podge of fuckery. No, uh, the thing with this team, though, too, is. There are a lot of things that Jolteon has a field day with. The main problem with this team isn't even the Dragonite. It's the Kangaskhan. The Kangaskhan is easily his scariest mon. Easily. We're really leaving Jolteon naturally because why wouldn't I? Kadabra might actually be very useful here due to Thunder Wave. And then... Gengar. Because it's confused, right? Aerodactyl is probably our biggest problem because it's fast and it probably is earthquake. I don't know what Zard has, but it should be fine. Mainly, we want to worry about Aerodactyl, Missing Thunder on the Gyarados, and Kanga. Dragonair, I don't know what we're going to do about that if we ever have to deal with it, so let's go. We're coming down to the edge. Here's Lance, the last remaining master of the Elite Four. Of course, of course, of course, we deal with this asshole first. Well, we're toxicing. Oh, toxic! All right, we are switching out immediately on this. Oh crap! Get you Thunderway! Oh boy, here we go. Wait, 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 wait. There's a chance you might not stand. Let's switch to Gengar. 
Oh, there's going to be a change of Pokemon. Oh, it's Dango! There's a chance you might not stay in. Oh my god, that was such a smart idea! What's that? Oh, the attack missed! Dude, I'm a genius! How will the spot Pokemon... Well, this thing probably has other moves. I didn't even think it was going to use rap! I was literally sitting there thinking, oh, it's probably gonna like blast me with some fire move or something. Oh, Lapras! Wait, this is perfect. This is perfect. Now we just sit here and we use Thunderbolt. Or we switch back in Jolteon. It depends on what this thing wants to do to me. We'll see what it wants to do. What's this? We need to preserve one of our electric tech users. I got a para first shot! Alright, Lapras. Blizzard. There's the attack. He got a crit. I'm dead. Oh my god, I'm not dead. Neither one is conceding an ace. Wait, I should have switched to Jolteon. I'm stupid. Now we're dead. Unless I crit him, or he gets Baron. Well, never mind. He's dead. <laughs> Okay, well that works out too. You gonna switch back in the dragon air? Here's a Pokemon Wait. Oh, Wait. Poison. Hold on. I just realized okay? something incredibly stupid. This thing is poison. It's on a timer. He's going to waste turns Pokemon trying to use rap on me to do minimal damage. He's gonna die of poison. Or he's gonna switch out. Or he's just gonna waste a turn doing this. What now? This is perfect. I want him to waste oh, turns now. Fuck. If his third is Kanga, then we're pretty much fucked, but, you know. Yup, here it comes. Time for Rap Shenanigans V3. Lance yeah, Harmony. Oh, hit. boy. I'm not even going to bother switching out. He does minimal damage. I lose nothing here. What a Literally, I lose nothing on. here. I always have to make sure my thing is the way it should be. Go on! Keep screwing yourself, Lance! Oh, you fucking stitch. And he gets crit, too, because of course he is. Why does it feel like the poison's doing nothing? And there it is, full parrot. Up, oh, there we go again. Back to rap. What'll it do? Power. He got a crit with that too. Oh my God! Fuck yourself, Lance. Oh, it still can't move. Neither one is. Please just die it's already. The attack is still continuing. Like if Jolteon dies, we switch into Kadabra and then we kill this thing. A Fireworks Wait a minute. Don't tell me that toxic poison reverts to regular poison when you switch out in this game. And I can't do anything because it's rap, so. So what's his dirt? Oh, Aerodactyl! The worst possible thing he could have brought! Right! So we're screwed! And watch it have Earthquake! Oh, that's even worse. Wait. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Dragonite here has low HP, right? Pokemon he can't move out. right now. We're about to find out some big info. If he outspeeds me, we're screwed. But if he doesn't, or we get a para, we're in a perfect... Oh, shit, he outspeeds me. Well, that's bad. Yeah, para. Or one shot him, whichever comes first. No! <laughs> well, uh, unless he doesn't kill me, I think this is it. Wait, what? Are you serious? Kadabra, can you take a hit? Because if he tries to hyper beam me. Here's what we did. Oh, if we live this, he switched back to Gengar. And then hopefully he has to hyper beam me. Ah! 
Never mind, we're not living this. I love how every single beat of hacks this asshole could have gotten all happens in the span of like seven turns. So now we lose, because I can't do anything to Aerodactyl. He's just gonna use Fly and kill me. <sighs> this game can literally just go die in a fire. So, using Kadabra is the right idea. I just need to not get hacked. So, yeah, we literally die here. There's no way I can survive this time. Let's run down the list here. His dragon have got crit with ice beam. The Aerodactyl crit me twice in a row. I mean, I got para, but that's basically the only bit of hacks I got. Well, I'm gonna have to redo three battles. I'll be back in a while. <sighs> okay, we're finally back. After 3,000 years, that Agatha battle was absolutely miserable. I don't even want to talk about it. We're going to use the same team as last time. So let's just hope we don't get hacked this time. Because after having to replay all those battles again with all the hacks in this fucking dragon air. As you can tell, I am very frustrated. That Agatha battle was one of the worst things ever. Oh, Literally nothing but me getting... Fast, trying to para, put things to sleep, only to get one turn wake-ups. Miss attacks against Lorelei, only to have to reset against Lorelei. Lose my Scyther to Bruno. Also, his Rhydon literally tried to spam Fisher on my Rhydon. I mean, on my Gengar. What's this? Even though I outsped. Alright, we're gonna do the old let him basically kill himself trick by tanking these hits. We need to hope he didn't bring Kanga or else we're screwed. Oh, yeah, be switching out maybe. Please. Lapras. Lapras is probably the least scary thing. Well, next to Gyarados, because Gyarados is quad weak to electric. Blizzard. There's the attack. He can't the freeze me. Hit. Okay, we live. Now we just need to hit. Savage attack. Oh, you, but you imply that I can actually hit things in this game? Yeah, right. That's a good joke. No, it is. Blizzard. A savage hit. Jolteon. I swear to God. I mean, it's right Arceus. There you go! He's probably not dead, though. Yeah, of course not. Alright, so we're gonna have to switch in Kadabra or something. Or Gengar. Gengar might be the play. Because we might need Kadabra to tank a hit. Which Pokemon is coming out? From whatever his third is. In the perfect world, his third is definitely Gyarados. Like, in the perfect world, his third is Gyarados. Alright, well, there goes Lapras. We're waiting for the next Pokemon. Please. Here's a Pokemon. Oh, Alright, here's the idea I have okay? here. We're gonna confuse right. This thing can't use rap on Gengar. And if it can waste turns, then that'll be good for us. Good. Unfortunately. I don't know what his third is, so I'm gonna switch Kadabra. Go into 
We need Gengar on the off chance he brought another flying type. Or something weak to wa electric. Oh, it's Kadabra! So please, 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 please. No! And now he uses rap on me. They strike fighting poses. Oh, but of course not. It shook off its confusion. Rap has a chance of missing. And he's on a timer. It can't make a move. The heated battle rages. He's not going to just sit there and let his dragon air die on. still going on. Like if I get if he gets a miss, then we're we're in there. What a yeah, I start using cover. On the off chance that he does switch out. He got two turns! What's this? Yeah, it's a hit. Like I should start recovering on the off chance that he misses or switches out, and then hopefully we it's get to do something eventually. Neither one is My man for self gets blown enough he probably just switch in. The attack is still continuing. Okay. Are he's almost there. If he swift if he has Aerodactyl, he's probably gonna like come in and hyper beam me immediately. There is a hit. Sparks are flying. And that's why I want. Please miss. This is in a hundred accuracy. Who, why? Why does he get to hit moves with such low? Like, so during my other attempts off screen, I missed Thunder four times against Lorelei. This dude has landed two blizzards and has consistently landed rap. Well, I mean, he's dead in like one turn at least. Oh, you asked me. Kadabra, 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 Kadabra. Yes! <laughs> We're still in! Let's go, boys! Okay, he's dead. He's dead. There's nothing he can do. The commands are issued. So he's just gonna attack me. Savage attack. Oh, you can go eat a dick. Okay, he's dead. And Finally, three thousand years later. See, this is why Staryu wasn't useful because the stupid ass dragon. Staryu wouldn't be able to do anything to it, and it would die by like two hits. Gyarados. Oh my god, it's a miracle. Thunder Wave, go. He's gonna body slam me. He got a crit. Okay, once again, he got two crits in a row. But this is it. This is it. This is it. This is what I was hoping for. This is the perfect scenario. We need to wear yet high damage. He's quad weak to war electric, but I don't know if I can kill him in one. So we're gonna go for it, and hopefully, hopefully, this is it. Please, please, please. Yes! Okay, we're almost done! There's one battle left! Okay, now it's time for the hardest part. If we lose here, we have to redo the Elite Four. Oh my god, I hate this voice so much! <sighs> Leave profile clear. Alright, receive the key from the Elite Four and open the gate to the upper floor. Where are we at the fight? The rival. Also, we don't get to switch our team. We have to use the same team we used against the Elite Four against him. And his team is fucking scary. So the thing about this team is if you are using Mons linked from another game, his teams are drastically different compared to what we see here.
But we're not going to worry about that. We're going to worry about what we have in front of us. Jolteon is a huge major player here because we have Pin Missile. So we're leading Jolteon. We're taking Gengar for basically everything else. And for a third, I'm taking Kadabra. Because Kadabra. Jolteon's main purpose is dealing with the Slowbro and Executor. Clef is probably the biggest problem. Electabuzz is troublesome, but we have Toxic, so we can hopefully deal with that. Pinsir is probably the least intimidating mod on the team, and Ninetales is Ninetales. This is truly it! The final battle against the rival! This is the final act in a long and arduous quest in the Gym Leader Castle! So you leave with the worst possible thing. Well, of course, we're in a toxic. Oh, toxic! The All right, this is why I got T-wave me. Yep, of course. Hit you, Oops, well, now we're parrot. I doubt he's gonna stay in much longer, so he might switch out. So we're gonna thunder. Yep, there it is. Where did he bring? Please tell me it's not Executor. Oh, it's That's arguably worse. What now? Especially when that happens. How will the Swat Pokemon fight? I'm pretty sure this thing goes. Yup, I had a feeling. Yeah, it's Wow, that that did. A lot less than I thought. What's this? Nice! I got a crit! Holy crap, Jolteon! Okay, let's go for the double kick. It's gonna psychic again. If he got the special drop, it's fine. Of course he does. No! We don't need that right now! Now he's gonna do more damage with psychic. Blizzard, what? What now? There, it's a hit. Come on, Jolteon. Come on, Jolteon. Good. Double kick. It's there you go. Oh, I don't know what he's gonna switch now. into. He might switch into the Electabuzz. We're waiting. But clefable has gone, and that's one of the biggest threats out of the way. Nine tails. Oh, it has to make up for lost ground. All right, I the think Pokemon the play here is after Jolteon goes time. down, we switch into Kadabra. Well, actually, you know, even better. We Thunder Wave this thing first, and then we start spamming Side Beam. The Electabuzz is on a timer. So what we need to do is confuse right with Gengar and then spam the shit out of Thunderbolt. While hoping he hits himself as many times as possible. We're gonna T-Wave immediately. We have recover for healing, so we should be fine. What's that? Like, if we kill the Ninetales with Kadabra oh. intact, we can literally just go in with. Oh, come on. He got a crit para! Wow, I'm dead. That's cute. Fuck you, too, game. Restoring HP. Fortunately, we have healing. So as long as he fucking uses that move all the time. Secret attack. Major damage. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. The this intense is bad. battle this is bad. continues. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. He needs to para. He needs to get full parried. He needs to get full parried. He needs to get full parried. It's restoring HP. Yes. It's paralyzed on the spot. Alright, let's do it again. Battle. Yes! It's restoring HP! There's the attack! How much a is that damage? Hit. That's a high hell damage roll. Neither one is completing right. an inch. Gengar, get in here. Here's a Pokemon trick. Oh, it's Gengar! What's this? Oops, that's... Alright, here we go. Confused, right? 
Now we spam Thunderbolt. Swap Pokemon fight. Flash up confused rare. It's confused. Come on. Shit. Whoa, it has one of the worst possible itself. moves it could have had. The heated battle rages on. Of course, it has a coverage move for Gengar. All right, we need full paras. Yeah, it's a hit. Damn it, we don't do much damage. Flame door. Yes. Come on. Come on, Gengar. What now? One more. One more. Yes. Uh oh, it's, it's gone. Bar start flying in this heat. All right. Oh, now here's what we do. We switch back to Kadabra because the Electabuzz is probably going to try to paralyze my Gengar. Then we sack Kadabra against the Electabuzz, hoping that it will lose health due to poison damage. Switch out, confuse right, and then spam Thunderbolt to hopefully win. Then. Will it be okay? Because he's obviously going to try and waste a turn on the T-Wave. He wants this thing to be slower than him. The Pokemon returns to its Pokeball. Kadabra, it's up to you. Yep, there it is. What's that? The move fails. Okay. How will this Baby damage, but we take it. Outcome. Try to heal. What? Kadabra, please! Kadabra, please! No! It's paralyzed on the spot. Neither one. I mean, he did essentially give me a turn. He gave me a turn. Seismic toss. We live on six. What'll it do? That's a good. Why did he not use an electric move on me? Well, shit. Well, it's all up to you now, Gengar. We got screwed. But the opponent appears beat. We got screwed yes, by Paris. Oh, this is it. It out. all comes down to Gengar now. If Gengar can't do we're this, we lose. If this thing has Psychic, we're fucked. Five. Basically. There's nothing left in reserve. There's just one all right. Pokemon Confuse Ray. Now. And then we have, thun the have to use Thunderbolt. We don't have any other moves we can use. What now? It's confused. Please don't have Psychic. Please don't have Psychic. Reflect! Whoa, Does he not have a move? What a furious battle. Does he not have a move? The face each other. Why would he what reflect? I don't have a physical uh, move! I got a crate! Okay! Oh, up, fuck you two! You. What's this? It's over. We don't need a confuse right. We just need to get a hit in. Why are you reflecting? Does he not have a move? Gengar. Gengar. Yes! Yes! It's over! Oh my gosh! My gosh, it's over! That was so lucky! Did he not have a move? No, 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 no. I, I, I'm sorry. I have to check this. I, I have to check this. I have to now. I have to check this now. There's no way he didn't have a move. There's no way. He did! He had Thunderbolt! Why did he not use it? I mean, whatever! <laughs> a win's a win! I will take that every day of the week! Oh my gosh! That was the luckiest not- Okay, we also get a present for beating Jim Leader Castle. Magnificent!
Maleficent, you just won Charmander! Receive Charmander. Please go to Professor Oak's lab and receive your Pokemon now. Well, unfortunately, we don't have a Game Boy game, so we can't obtain it, because... Well, if we go to Professor Oak's lab... Yeah... We need that, we need that thing. But, oh my gosh, that was, that was magnificent. And since we're done with another major thing, let's show off another feature. I can't draw a vent battle because, once again, I don't have a game pack. We're going to show off the gallery, where we can snap photos, and you can actually also print them, but apparently you need a printer. Oh, you have to have four photos in the gallery. Okay, so let's, let's start by snapping a photo of... There's a tutorial. I like that background. That's cute. Let's use... Our MVP of Gym Leader Castle, our boy Gengar. So here you can zoom in with the control stick. Use the control pad to move around. A is to pass pictures. B is go back. What? No, I don't want to go back. All right, let's see. Zoom in. All right, L changes the arena. So, at start, you don't have all of them. You basically have, like, free battle and a couple others. But as you go through Gym Leader Castle, you get more pictures. All right, there we go. How do we... Okay, let's see. All right, Z removes that. And if you press start, you can check your photos. Mm. Watch the gallery. Um, let's keep that one. Ooh. Enlarge it. <laughs> uh. How do you go back? Okay, I'm remembering now. That's this is where the photos go when you're done. Photos that are marked will be deleted. Yeah, sure. There's 16 by one or four by eight. There's stickers. You can pick photos to make stickers. You can organize them. You need to have four pictures to print them, but you also need like a printer thing. All right, let's do one more. Let's do one for the King of Rentals, Kadabra. But so, honestly, Gengar hard carried us there. Let's see. There we go. So let's save a couple of these. Just save all of them. Watch it out. Not this one. A Pokemon Snap Station TM. Alright, well, that's basically... Same that's basically the basics of the gallery. I'm still kind of riding the high of finishing Gym Leader Castle. But we're not quite done with this game yet. We may have finished Gym Leader Castle, but there's still one more daunting threat waiting for us. Prime Cup Master Ball, where our best friend the Gambler waits us one final time. To gamble away our lives. Well, our Pokemon's lives, not our actual lives, but you know what I mean. It's probably not going to be easy. Compared to the Gym Leader Castle thing, I would actually say that a certain battle in the second half of Prime Cut Master Ball is going to be just as hard. Because we're really going to have to play around with hacks. 
But we'll deal with that when we deal with that. So next time, it will be time for the final Prime Cup. <sighs> Should be interesting. But anyway, I'm going to go and celebrate my victory. And I will see you next time.